Hello, friends. Today, let's solve the combination sum two problem. Let's first see the statement. Given a connection of candidate numbers, candidates, and their target number target, find all unique combinations in candidates where the candidate numbers sums to target. Each number in candidates may only be used once in the combination. Note all numbers including target will be positive integers. The solution set must not contain duplicate combinations. So this problem has a, a slight difference between the previous question, which we are given a candidate set. The numbers in the candidates are duplicate uh, are uh, unique, but in this problem we are given a candidate that may have the duplicates. But we can only use that uh, uh, element once. Let's see this example. We can use the first one and the, the second one and the six to get this eight. But we cannot uh, change the position. Like uh, we first use this one, then use this one, and then use six to get uh, eight. Because basically they are the same. We do we cannot have duplicate result list. So uh, um, an obvious. Uh, Solution to uh, avoid the duplicates to first sort these candidates. Uh, when we meet the first one, we just uh, search for if there are some number that sum up to the target. But when we meet the second one, we just uh, skip because if this one will be used, when we uh, check other numbers, we can. Uh, find the uh, result, but if this one we are not uh, used, uh, we just skip it. We will not uh, uh, have any problem. So let's uh, solve uh, solve this problem. We will first use the result list, new array list, and we sir uh, first sort uh, sort these candidates. And we will call this help function. We'll pass the result and a new array list, which is a temporary list. And the candidates, also their target, and their index, which is zero at first. Finally, we just return this result. Let's implement this help function. First, we will pass uh, this result list. And then we will pass the temporary list. That should be the candidates their targets, targets, and the index, which indicate the place we are here uh, in the candidates. The best case should be the same if the target less or equal than zero. This is the best case. And if the target equal to zero, this should be one result list. We just add the, we will pass the uh, temporary list to it. And we just return. This is the for loop. I should start from the index i less than the candidates dot length i plus plus. We try to add the current uh, candidates i into the uh, list. And then we will recursion do the recursion since result temporary. And the candidates target should uh, minus the current candidates i. And uh, you should notice that uh, the next time we start from the i plus 1, not i, because we can only use that element once. So we should start from the next element. And uh, we sh uh, it should be i, not the index. And then we unchoose this element. We just remove the uh, last element, index minus 1. So how do we skip uh, the same result? So if the i is greater than index and the candidates i, you know, is equal to the candidates i minus one, we just continue. We just skip it. And as I said before, as I mentioned before, we will not uh, miss any result. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time.